But before my colleague over there came along, had you ever heard yeah. anything about restorative justice? The first justice? time I heard about it, we were in a magazine. And it said that there was something called a restorative justice system, which helps victims. And it says when they feed their perpetrators, they've got a 25% chance of when they get out of prison of not committing an offence again. And I thought, do you know what? I might actually go and see them. But I thought, how could I do that? I can't just waltz into a rhythm and go, I want to think people who did that to me, because it wouldn't work. So, and I thought, well, I'm going to need to do it because he gets out soon anyway. So I thought, if I can't face him in the streets, then I can at least face him in a room where I know it's controlled and I know that people are going to be there. Victims, they just, sometimes they'll get victim support and it helps, it's sort of like counselling, it helps you sort of get over it, but you can't, you can never get answers for what they've done. You can never ask them, you know, why have you done this? Why did you do that? You can't ask, you know, are you having a, good, a bad time in there? You ask yourself so many questions and you can never get the answers and it runs through your mind again and again and again. And it, it's like a song on repeat. You, you get bored of it. You, you want to just get rid of it, you want to start something new and you can't while you've still got these questions, so... You've got to see someone who could have potentially ruined your life, that could have done anything, and you are facing them. And that is the, mo that is the best thing you can do, to show them that they haven't won. I was sat here in front of this person who's put me in hospital, and I didn't feel scared, because I had someone next to me, and Nigel was just sat there the whole time and he just sort of, when we trailed off he just helped Jay get back onto the questions that I asked and we were in there for a good two hours at least talking about it and it just, I felt a little bit refreshed after because I just, I never thought I'd ever get to talk to him or see him after that and just, just having that opportunity and having someone there and with you throughout all of it, it, just, it helps you put your mind at ease a bit because you think I'm not going through this alone. You walk out there and your mind's finally clear of half the stuff you went in with and it's like, it's like when you have a messy bedroom and you have a massive clear out and then you go in and it's a big tidy space and you think, God I can move around, I can do whatever I want, I can, I can get new stuff in, it, it's like, you can make new memories. <laughs>